Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Fat Ninja Turtle, and today I'm going to do a very difficult and challenging tutorial. I know that's not very inviting, but it's on the automatic screen pumps and screen flashes that I did on the Christmas Times edit for uh, Christmas. So, yeah, if you haven't checked out that edit, I'll be a link in the description. And it's a pretty sweet edit. And, uh, yeah, I'll show you guys how to do that really quickly. Well, not qu really quickly, but you know what I mean. So, what you want to do is when you're completely done your edit, so you have finished your edit completely and you're like, oh, yeah, that's a nice edit. You want to render your edit out, okay? Then you want to make a new file. So, you just got to go new. Uh, project new project whatever okay just don't save then you want to import your edit so say I have my edit in here I'm just gonna import one of my old edits then you want to put it into a new composition so as you can tell I have my edit okay and it's awesome and everything then what you want to do is you want to type in base and treble so just drag on base and treble put the base to 50 because when you sync, um, you know when you like uh, you watch an edit and like the screen pumps synced to the bass, it's not because like no one's gonna sync it to the treble because bass is louder than treble and bass sounds better and it flows better. So you want to have the bass as like not put it at 100 because then it'll just be loud and gross. But you want to put it to 50 and the treble to negative 100 so you can barely hear the treble and you can hear the bass. So then what you want to do is right click on your audio and go to um, keyframe assistant convert audio to confirm keyframes then on your audio amplitude delete the left and the right channel okay then go back to your week 51 edit that's what I called mine and delete your bass and treble okay then what you want to do on audio amplitude hit you click on the slider then click on this little graph editor okay then you can see that you have these little keyframes so you want to go to the one of the highest not the very highest because there's not that many of the highest ones and you want to find a keyframe that uh, suits it so I'm gonna put 90 here like for the highest keyframe and one of the low ones is about seven so then what you want to do is alt click on slider and go right here and type in linear like that open bracket value comma no spaces no capitals nothing you can't mess this up then you want to put your small value so seven and your high value which is 90 then you want to hit zero as your uh, you want to hit zero and then a hundred so that's the percentage of the opacity of the flashes then you want to turn this off, um, turn off the graph editor, and now you have all these keyframes that represent stuff, which you don't know what they represent just yet. Then you want to hit Alt Control uh, Y for a new adjustment layer. T call this flashes, which you can do just by clicking Enter and then Enter again. Then you want to type in levels to drag on onto your flashes. Then you want to drag this up to about here. It depends on how much you want your clip to get brighter by so if I turn this on and off you can tell it gets brighter so I think that's a good amount then you hit T on the flashes for opacity alt click the opacity drag the pick whip to the slider and then click off so now just hit U for that and hit U for that to get rid of that so now as you can tell there are some flashes and they look pretty sweet so now let's make a new adjustment layer so alt control Y and let's call this pumps you want to drag this underneath your flashes, that's very important. Then you want to type in magnify. Okay, so you guys know when you click P for position, it says 640. I don't know why, but for some reason, uh, let, me, let me go back to my pumps. Oh, I haven't, I haven't dragged magnify on yet. Did I? Oh, I put it on the wrong one, that's why. Okay, so when you you know when you hit P for position on a, cl on, um, a layer, and it says 640 by 360, 640 is the amount we're going to put on our um, size for the magnify. So you're going to put 640. Then you want to change it circle to square. Vag magnification. Put it to 100. Okay. So now as you can tell, the clip looks the exact same. If I turn it on and off, it doesn't make a difference. And if I drag it up, it gets bigger and stuff. So what you want to do is go to your audio amplitude and hit control D to duplicate it. Now we're going to call this pumps. Uh, pumped or whatever just call it something else you, you got to know which one's which then you want to hit y uh, U Okay, now this part you got to um, Change this zero value to 100 and change your 100 value to whatever number you want So the uh, the second value is what your second scale up is going to be so that's going to be your highest scale up scale pump from the automatic automatic scale pumps or whatever I'm not good at explaining it, but I put 110 when I made my Christmas edit 
then I like to have this value a bit higher because you don't want it at 110 the whole time. As you can tell, at one point on my uh, song, it was at 110 the whole time. So I just put it 95. So then I hit U again. I'm going to go to the pumps. Oh, I hit U, so that's open. Pumps, then I'm going to Alt-click on magnification. I'm going to pick whip it. Oh, whoops. Oopsies. Pick whip it down. Keep going down. Keep going down to slider. Okay. So if your After Effects hasn't crashed, you did it right. Now, as you can tell, if we go through the edit, automatic screen pumps, man. Look at that. You can tell because I have black bars. And um, before, if I turn the pumps off, the bars just stay there. But if I turn them on, the bars go crazy. So this makes for a m massively long render time. So like, you know the Christmas edits I did? The Christmas edit I did? This one, it took an hour to render it, and it's 18 seconds. So what I advise you guys to do is to render out the edit first, and then add the uh, Christmas, uh, not the Christmas, sorry. And then add the scale in effect, because I did it all at once, and that's why it took so long. It probably would have taken a total of like 20 minutes if I did it separately. So yeah, it's, um, it's a very nice effect. It looks really sweet. And as you can tell, it's automatic screen pumps, and it looks awesome. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I want to say a huge thank you for 400 subscribers. I'm very grateful. And, um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. I'm going to make a editing contest once I have got the clip sorted out and everything in a few days. So, uh, yeah, ho hope you guys are excited for that. And um, hope you guys enjoyed this quick and not so quick, but this tutorial. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys sometime soon with another After Effects tutorial or another Golden Gun video. See you guys. Bye.